If you've been following this channel for a while now, you'll know that most of my videos come with a blog post. Or I should say typically, because I haven't written one since March 7th, but I promise I'll get back to that. But yeah, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video that I'm trying to make is that I've moved my blog from Medium to now my own website. So if you go to blog.thecodebrew.tech, you'll see that all of the blog posts that were on Medium are now on here. There's quite a few reasons as to why I did this. I don't want to get into them in this video, but what I find cool about this is that I built the whole thing in probably like three to four hours using Astro, which I've never used before, plus MDX. And that's just for the content. So all of the blog posts are basically written in Markdown. But yeah, in this video, I just want to walk through that code, show you guys what I built with it. It's a pretty basic website. There's nothing crazy here. The style is very minimalistic in part because I didn't want to spend too much time on it, but also just because I like the style. So yeah, let's take a look at the code. Obviously, I had to use Bun for my package manager. If you go through my videos, you'll know that I use Bun a lot. And then and I don't want to go through all of like the Astro setup. I want to make a different video on just how to set up Astro, how to get started. But I want to walk through like the basics of how I set this whole thing up. So if I go to my astro.config, you'll see a few things in here. I do have React and I do have Tailwind. Tailwind, just because I find it super simple to style anything with it. And React, actually, this is because I installed Shad CN. If I go back to the website, it's only for these pills for now, but I do plan on using it more for different features. But yeah, React wasn't actually necessary for this project. And then obviously I have MDX and there's a couple different plugins in here. So I have Rehype Slug and Rehype Pretty Code. Rehype Slug, I'm pretty sure is just for you to give IDs to things. And then Pretty Code is for the actual code editors. And as you can see, I'm using the GitHub dark theme. Oh, and there's also Sitemap. This is more for like SEO purposes. But yeah, if I now go into my source folder, you'll see a few different things in here. Let me just get the structure your data out of the way. This is all for SEO purposes. So I won't even go into this. For pages, pretty basic. Ignore the tags for now. I don't have a page for tags. We have the home page, which it's using a pretty basic layout. So if I go into my layout, you'll see here that it's basically just setting the title. I have a header. The header is basically just this section up here. So nothing fancy going on. As you can see, it's just displaying code brew. If I go to the footer, it's only got a link to my Twitter, a link to the YouTube and a link to my GitHub, which you can see down here. Also, make sure you click on Twitter Twitter, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to YouTube, and maybe follow me on GitHub. But yeah, then I just have some spacing around the actual content of the page. For the page itself, I set up a collection for my posts, which we'll go into in a, in a second, but it's basically pulling all the content from in here. So content posts, these are all the markdown files. So it's pulling all those files into all posts. I'm then sorting them and then just displaying them in here. And I also created a separate component for each post. So if I go into post, you'll see that this is all the content for the post. So I'm actually getting the post entry and a link to that post. So for each title of the post, you have a link to that post. So when you click on the post itself, it takes you to that post. That's basically these components right here. So if I hover right here, you'll see that each container, this is each one of those post components. And yeah, I also have this UI folder here. Like I said, this is the badge coming from Shad CN. I also have a 404 page. This is nothing crazy. It's just a 404 not found text being displayed. And then a slug page. This is for each post individually. So if I take a look at this, I'm also setting some SEO stuff, so I'm gonna close that up. But yeah, this is basically grabbing the slug and then finding the content for that slug. And then you'll see that we call here await post.render. We get the content and we just display it down here. Each post is actually wrapped in a post layout. So if I take a look at the post layout, all that the post layout does is it actually sets up this section right here for each post individually. It just saved me a lot of time just having to add this to each post. So it's a lot more reusable that. And you might be wondering where this post layout actually gets used. If I take a look at the content itself and I take a look at one of the blog posts, you'll see up here that we map the layout. So yeah, this is it. I have all of my blog posts in here. They're all written in Markdown. I'm honestly loving the simplicity of this. It's a lot easier to set up, write a post and get it out there. But yeah, it was very easy to get the post set up, the app set up. And I'll even show you guys how I deployed the app. I went to Cloudflare and they have this thing called Pages. If you've seen my other videos on workers, basically think of workers as being the back end, the API, whatever, and then Pages being the front end. I'm not using both of them in this case, so don't get that confused. But but if we take a look at pages, so I'll go down to workers and pages, you'll see my blog down here. And then I also added a custom domain here. But if we go into it, you'll see all my deploys here and everything is coming from my GitHub repo. And if I was to show you guys how easy this was to deploy, I basically just went create application, go to pages, connect to GitHub, select your GitHub account down here, and then select your repository. Once you select that, 
you just click begin setup. You have the name, the branch that you want to deploy from. For the framework, you can actually select Astro and then that basically sets up the commands for you. Instead of NPM though, I use bun. So bun run build, it uses the dist build and then you basically just click save and deploy. But yeah, I found Cloudflare pages to actually be super simple to use, very easy to deploy and it's basically free. You get the first 100K requests for free. So that's basically it for my blog. Pretty fast video. I just wanted to show you guys this. I found it pretty cool. If you have any questions, let me know down in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, all of that. But yeah.